Mama Haru back again telling you her story from one star seed to all of the other star seeds out there about how she broke the chain. This mask that I started off wearing, you may see it again, was because to me it represents how they mask the truth. They covered what we should have been knowing and told us what they wanted us to know. So they had to dress it up, try to make it look beautiful so it would be more attractive. The other mask, which I used, which to me represented fear, this one, in regards to tithing. You pay those tithes or you're going to be doomed. You better give your 10%, all of it, not some of it. Once again, used as fear. My other disguise was the blindfold because you have to be blindfolded. You have to be blind in order to receive, to receive the lies they were giving us. Now today, I got on shades because something sounds shady to me. Let's focus on the sun. John 3.16. I know we've all heard of John 3.16. But I'm going to give it to you today in a different way. For God so loved the world. I'll say it again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Not the son they made up in this Bible. Not the S-O-N. Not the son they made in the flesh. Okay, not that guy, not that guy, not that guy. Son, S-U-N. The son that's outside. The son that give us life. The son that if we did not have it, we would die. The son that has no respect of person. No matter what you have done. No matter what you have done, if you step outside right now, the sun will still shine on you. The sun still give you life. The sun give us all life. The sun, because of the sun, we have food we can eat. Because of the sun, we have animals. Because of the sun, we have plants. Because of the sun, we have vision. Because of the sun, we have heat. Doesn't it kind of tell you something? Can you kind of think about that? They took the sun, S-U-N, and created an S-O-N, made it into flesh and said, this sun is what you should follow. Because this sun will forgive you for all of your sins. All you have to do is say, please forgive me for I have sinned. And it's all disappeared. But yet, we go to church on Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It all comes from mythology. But yet they call us heathens because we don't go to their church or their cathedrals. When, when they go to church on Sunday, they are considered as sun worshipers. Just like the people go on Sabbath, seventh day. It's really confusing about whether sun, Sunday Sunday came first or Saturday came first. I mean, which one is the seventh day? Different religions give you different dates, okay? But I don't care about that. We don't have to work, care about that. That's something they made up. That's their belief. The thing I do know is that sun out there has no respect of person. That sun out there gives life. That's what the sun was all about. The creator of the universe gives sun, S-U-N, not S-O-N. Please believe me. Please look into it. You got to take that back. Don't believe me. Do your research and see the mythology in it. Because the days of the week has to do with astrology, and it came from um, mythology. The months of the year, mythology. Think about Jesus. Mm -hmm. The sun that they said was S-O-N. Mm -mm. Okay, in the story, how do you think they found the baby? The baby. The baby that came 
to save us from our sin. Was that supposed to be Jesus? What did they follow? The star. Remember the three wise men they said? They were following the star. Isn't that astrology? Mm. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? It's interesting and fun when you really begin to see what was really going on. When you see that what you have been following was mythology the whole time and you're still following that. Yeah, you are. Because when I think about this Bible and all the killing that went on as to how it came together. Oh yeah, the uh, councils back in the day, they killed each other over what books went into this Bible, what books did not go into the Bible, what they wanted you to know, and what they didn't want you to know. Read about Constantine. Read. Research. And you'll see that this is not what they're displaying before you. It's not at all. And a lot of the so-called ministers and preachers and priests, all in these synagogues and churches and stuff, a lot of them know. And some of them don't know. Because some of them are just a blind reason leading the blind. And some of them are really looking for truth. He who seeks shall find. Because I sure was seeking. But you got to be strong to believe what you find. Because if you go by the Old Testament, none of us should be living right now. I mean, you were killed if you were a virgin. You were killed if you committed adultery. You were killed if you committed a fornication. You were killed if you cursed your parents. You were killed if all kinds of reasons they had for killing you. You know, but then yet the Ten Commandments says that we should not kill. That's the sixth one. You know, it's supposed to be ten of them. The sixth one says, Thou should not kill. And if you do, you're going to hell. I mean, well, then I guess God is going to hell too. But God was the biggest killer. In this book, in this book, God was the biggest killer. Wow. And the only love that I could really see that was in the Bible was um, the Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon was deep. Mm. I mean, he talked about your lips. He was talking about your breasts. Mm -hmm. He was talking about your thighs and all that. Song was like, he got it on. Um, that's the only thing I saw. And then when people talking about, well, the real, you know, all that killing, yeah, the babies and stuff that was killed during Moses' time and, and the Israelites, you know, you, you know, doing, going through the exodus and how many people were killed. All, that was the Old Testament. Yeah, well, that was baby killed in the New Testament too. They were stoning women in the New Testament too. They were doing all type of crazy stuff in the New Testament. And they said, Jesus came to save us all. Give me a freaking break. Bunk that because Jesus said, from what I understand in the story, he said, you think I came to bring peace? I didn't come to bring no peace. Mm -mm. He said, I came to divide. Yes, I did. Mamas and daddies, sisters and brothers and all that. He came to divide. He said, oh, don't be mistaken. Don't think, he said, what was that? Don't think I came to uh, remove the laws of the old. I came, he said, I came to fulfill the law. I was like, dang. Oh, man, there was something else going on. So the God in this Bible and the Jesus in this Bible. Mm, think about it. The God in this Bible and the Jesus in this Bible, they didn't like you. No, they didn't. If you didn't do what they said, you doomed. You doomed, but the son, S-U-N, the one, the true creator of this universe gave us, put in us to create because we come from the creator. I don't need and you don't need no Bible to tell you that you should not kill a baby. You should not take a baby and throw it out there in the street. You should not kill your father. You, not, you should not kill your mother. I don't need nothing to tell me that I should not kill. It's in me already what I should and I should not do. 
And I ain't talking about nobody specifically. I'm just saying the truth is already within you. Go within and find out who you really are. Go within and find out what your purpose really is. I got tired of the cage. When I was born, I was born in my mother's womb, which was a cage. When I got too big from that, they put us in a baby bed. I outgrew the baby bed. When I outgrew the baby bed, the society decided that we go to school. Now they put us in a mental cage. So we never get a chance to know who we really are. We never get a chance to really create. So once you finish all the schooling that they give you, now you create according to how they want you to create. Not from you, the true creator. Think about that. Think about that. How all kinds of creation will be going on if they, not, if they had not messed with our mind from day one when we entered this planet Earth. If they had not shoot, started shooting us up with all these type of vaccines and stuff, um, how would we be? How would we be if that has not happened? But that's okay because the Kundalini is rising. The Kundalini is waking up. The Kundalini is the spirit that's within you that's beginning to question and beginning to bring truth forward. We'll talk about that a little bit more. But remember, loved one, the sun, S-U-N, has no respect of person and it does not condemn. S-U-N, the sun that the true creator of this universe gave us. Not the son, S-O-N, and the false creator of this book. I love you with the love of the universe. Until next time, say, I love myself. Goodbye now.